Hi, I'm Kevin, and we are here today to talk about the new horror film, At the Devil's Door. I'm here with Ashley Ricards and Nicholas McCarthy, the director and star of the film. Welcome, thanks for coming. Thanks for having My us. My pleasure. I'm very excited because, as you know, I've stalked you on Facebook and talked about how much I love the movie The Pact, so I was very excited about this film, your second film. Um, tell us, like, what was the inspiration for this particular devilish story? You know, there were a lot of things that, that, that inspired uh, the story because there were so many things that, that went into this, this movie. Uh, there's three main characters and three different timelines. But the very first uh, kind of primal scene, primal creative scene, was a cab ride that I took where um, I was at the Sundance Film Festival premiering the pact, and the cab driver asked me, uh, you know, what are you here for? And I said, I'm here for this movie, The Pact. And he said, is it about a pact with the devil? And I said, no, it's about a pact uh, between a mother and a brother. And he said, well, I made a pact with the devil. <laughs> And uh, so I you asked, got me, sir. yeah, right. <laughs> Let me out at the corner. Uh, he said that when he grew up, uh, uh, where he grew up in Chile, he had been dared by some friends to sell his soul. And he described this scene that became essentially the first scene of the movie that's uh, with Ashley, where he went to this kind of witch doctor and um, sold his soul for a, a, a very small amount of money. And uh, the guy at the end of the ritual said, "Now tell me your name." Uh, so he knows your name when he calls for you. And this guy swears that when he went home that night that he was sitting in his kitchen and he heard his name, Enrique, uh, called from upstairs. Um, and when he went upstairs, no one was there. And so he finished telling me that story and I was like, this would make a great scene in a movie. Vera, it's looking for a home. You play different characters, you know, on Awkward. Um, you did a movie called Fly Away where you play an autistic teen named Mandy. Um, what drew you to this role? It's a little bit darker than those. I mean, obviously I just relate so much to her. <laughs> For me, it, it just happens all the time. Um, <laughs> I've always been a fan of the horror genre. And what stood out with this project was that it wasn't a genre piece. Right. It was a thriller and it was people in a story and the circumstances are terrifying. Well, I saw a nod to Hitchcock in this film and I don't want to reveal what it is, but is that was that a conscious decision? Do you know what I'm talking about? You know, kind of a hidden backstory to both this movie and The Pact is that it uses the same basic dramatic structure as Psycho. In At the Devil's Door, the, the, the characters of, of Lee and Vera are named after uh, right. Janet Lee and, and Vera Miles in Psycho. So now it can be known. But yeah, it is a, a nod to, to Psycho. And, and Hitchcock's just one of those directors you can't get away from. You know, you just <laughs> you end up finding some way to reference him without knowing it because he's so kind of ingrained in everybody in my in my generation. But yeah, it was it was a conscious nod to right. to Psycho. you're possessed. So is that something that you slip out of easily after you're, after a scene or when you go home at night or now? I mean, I didn't tell anyone, but it was it would have been so easy to. I just chose to continue to be crazy. <laughs> it just kept things so much more interesting. She's not letting it go. <laughs> it's pretty <laughs> remarkable. I noticed a lot of different interesting sounds throughout the film, especially actually in your room right after you were possessed. I felt like I heard like bees or something. Just, it was kind of interesting to see how you made the audience uncomfortable. Can you talk about that? The sound that you were hearing in, in, uh, that's in Hannah's room is the sound of flies. The sound people that worked on this movie in post are the same sound people that, that I did the pact with. Those guys are, are geniuses, you know, um, because sometimes I would give them a you know, philosophical idea and I would say, what we should hear is that it sounds like um, a storm is approaching. Uh, not that there's a, a rainstorm, but mm -hmm. that the, you know a storm is approaching, and I would listen as they would layer five or six or seven sounds on top of one another, um, and um, some of them would not be weather sounds. You know, they would be industrial sounds that mm -hmm. they would they would have found, and just like everything with with a movie, um, it's you know it rests on this collaboration with really talented people. Well, what's next for, for both of you? Well, next for me is calling my shaman because I need a good chakra cleansing. <laughs> um, and then I'll probably go to Whole Foods. But work-wise, <laughs> awkward, it'll 
hopefully be come back for another season. But in the meantime, we have the rest of season four airing. Nick? There's a episode of a horror anthology TV show, which I'm going to do. <clears throat> and also there's an anthology film where there's a bunch of film directors that are the horror directors that are doing segments. So I'm going to do one of those. Thank you guys both very much for coming here. And I wish you good luck with the movie. I think everybody should see it. And with that, anything you guys do in the future. Thanks. Cheers. All right. Thank you for Thanks. stalking me. You're welcome. I know it's scare easy, but when I got home, I was in bed and I had to go to the bathroom or something. And when I went back to bed, because there was no lights on. Next time, just pee in the bed. It looks safer. It's uncomfortable for a little while, but then you fall asleep. <laughs>